We're going to go with this to increase our attack speed. I am going to lose some more vampirism, but we will gain a lot more regen. I've only got one ring slot, sadly. Don't worry about asking, though. That is a super common question. I'm not sure we're getting out of this one, though. Yeah. I would need to expend all of my uh, skulls to be able to get back with all of this loot with us. And is that loot worth it? No, actually, there's nothing there that's particularly useful. Hop, hop, hop. Yeah, the slots are there regardless. But uh yeah, that was that was unfortunate. Oh well. Hmm. Now, I had intended to take the Temporal Beacon so I could merge it with the Bookery. And once the Bookery was empty, I'd be able to get more mages. But part of the reason for going this time was simply to get some extra... Uh, to uncover a couple of things. One of them was to try and get the swamps and the goblins to, to spawn. Thank you, Kate. Hello, mate. Thank you very, very much for the 14 months there. Morning all, another month and another sub. The <laughs> Archon Power. Thunk. Let me just clear out all of the uh all the backseat passes there. Now, someone asked, what happens if you put an outpost next to an arsenal? It's a reasonable question. It is a reasonable question, one I would like to, to investigate. Um, I like having the bookery. But... Uh, We could do away with the battlefield. The, that chess is not actually that useful right now. The ghosts are useful, but the chess, not so much. And those blood golems are so potentially dangerous. Maybe scrub those from our deck as well. Okay, I think this is a better deck for now. Yeah, that's the thing. Is I'm I'm thinking of starting the river of the mountains this time, Shadowhands. Uh, yeah, I imagine there's lots of interesting ways you can use the river. Uh, I imagine there's lots of different patterns you can go for that would maximize the amount of. Uh, river versus tile but also that would minimize the amount of tiles you're placing versus the rivers that you're placing like you could surround a river with seven tiles of river or indeed eight if you really wanted to um but you'd only really have one river in each tile Uh, sorry, one river in each tile. One uh, landscape in each tile. And it's only going to, at max, get a four times boost. Now, if those are additive boosts, or multiplicative, then it makes a difference. If they're just additive, you know, so if, if it only um, times two is the base amount, four times, then, you know, that's one thing. But if the first one multiplies the base amount by two, and then the next one multiplies that amount by two, and then the next multiplies that amount, by two, then it would get ridiculous, and it's absolutely worth doing. Not Randir, thank you very much for the prime sub. Yeah, we can try the three by three rover of this one if you like. 
also at the Storm Temple if you absolutely want to. Sure. Um, however, we're going to grab Rogue. I think. We'll see what the Rogue does. And also, to allow you to get some, some points back, let's start a prediction, shall we? Hmm. Seems I'm having some troubles making a prediction. Oh, right, I see. That was a previous prediction. Uh, okay. I'm going to give you 30 minutes on this prediction, the most I can give you, because honestly, it's going to take us a while. Or, well, actually, it could be over really fast. If it's over really fast, well, that's just the way it's going to be. Okay, so there's the prediction. Am I going to be, die to the boss, or am I not? With the rogue and with these cards. you got 30 minutes. Turn around, Avic, so you can let me know. Oh, okay. Sorry, Bilal. I, I didn't realize. I thought you, uh, thought you'd have drifted off. Okay, let's get going. First and foremost, let's drop this down. Next up, let's get some armor on and a weapon in place. Use this as your opportunity, chap. Your opportunity to make back some of the the, uh, the funds that you have you have lost on your voting. A lucky few of you shall become ducat rich. Okay, now the river. Start over here. Let's see if we can't feed those harpies. Um. We want goblins as well because I, I want to have some swamps down. But first I'll find out where the goblins are going. I think that's going to be the easy way of doing it. The other thing we can do is pop down... Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, sure, I'll pop that there. Has that... spawned anything? No, I don't think it has. I don't think it's changed into anything else. Sadly. Oh, I guess we'll eventually put a bookie nook in there. is going to be better. Boots wise, they're all the same. Uh, 
Now, Rogue gets st stupid powerful if I can get enough attack speed on it. Like, crazy powerful, eventually. But it all comes down to getting those thickets. Being willing to wait to get them as well. Why, hello. Please die. You just stole my breastplate. You epic jerk. Utter scoundrel. 100% confirmed scallywag. One hundred percent. I wonder what happens if you put a couple of these in the same. Let us find out, shall we? Double lightning. Right, finally got a thicket. And got some suburbs. Uh, I guess down here would be one of the better places to start building. Right, got a swamp, but we're not going to place it down until I've got some goblins on the map. I could already convert this into a into council lands like and getting it in early is it's something to be said about that to be fair um we'll go with just well yeah we'll go with the attack speed for now it's worth it get these out of the way Evasion 8%, evasion 5, and attack speed of 3, evasion 5. Um. Go with that one. Now. Again, the river only doubles terrain tiles. Whether the mountain counts as a terrain tile, I don't actually know. We'll find out, I guess. Get some extra wheat fields. What I wouldn't give for those, uh... Bandits to spawn in the wheat fields, that would be amazing. Yeah, that, that magic HP is an absolute fun. You just stole my necklace, you piece of garbage. This is why bandits suck. Every conceivable, imaginable way, they suck. Yeah, I I do not approve of bandits. Goodbye. That feels better. Let's find out about these necklaces. They're going to be the same there. Um, hmm. We'll go with the counter. That's a boost. We've got some nice high number boots here. Very nice high number. 13 evasion. That's 8 evasion, but a decent amount of counter. Ooh, okay, this is that's a difficult choice. That is a difficult choice, I'm going to be honest. I think we're going to go with those, though, ultimately.
Imagine if the final boss was just bandits all the way around. That would that would be awful. Just like yeah, no, you don't you don't get this piece of equipment. Sorry. I know it's a massive part of your strategy, but no, it's not. You're not getting it. Goodbye. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oof. Great. Uh, lightning fast is nice, but we're going to grab a uh, rat wolf and may come to your aid during battles. That 75% chance of, an, of a decent ally is, is nice. No, I could be crazy bold. Crazy bold. And just go right ahead and place a vampire right there. The level of boldness required for that, though. There'll be a lot of danger and no healing for a while. Do it. Mm. I could then put the swamp here, but... Uh, I'd rather finish this mountain, which won't actually be that far away. Find out where the mosquito spawns. Place the goblin... Uh, sorry, please... Uh, sorry, the... the, the, the um, find out where the goblin spawn. Place the mosquito next to them. Place the vampire hut next to that. And just wait. For now, that's my goal. But I can drop a couple of things around here. Just prep this area for the eventual fights with, with hordes of monchy ghouls. So much monching. Many ghouls. Uh, okay, that's, that's actually... Better than counter. The crit chance up is really good. Boots wise, we've got a couple. 9% defense, 5 attack speed and critical damage. No, I, I think the boots we've got right now are better than that. Um, no evasion bonus here, but. Straight up upgrade. Straight upgrade. There's no need, reason not to upgrade that. Not gonna lie, getting kind of garbage drops right now. At this point, I'm gonna say we start weaving a little bit. Or, or moving diagonally at the very least. Okay, we just completed two quests. Now would be the time to vampire it if we wanted. We'll see. An outpost would be good to help out with uh, dealing with potential vampires. Huh. I hadn't considered that an option. But I suppose it is. Okay. We'll need both of them for now. Start zigzagging down. Not worth it's worth just for the extra target, in my opinion. You can get out of a load of hits while something is targeting the Ralph. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a very, very fair assessment of that one below. Better. 
Um, that's 15 damage to wall. Uh, losing 5 evasion, though. I really want that extra bit of damage. Right now we've got shockingly few thickets. We haven't even got a uh, Bucky Nook yet. Right, that'll get... Oh. Well, that's a shame. Guess I could put a vampire's hat there. But there we go. We've now changed that up. It's now a goblin lookout. Sadly, even swamps aren't enough to get rid of goblins. They can get used to anything. Adds a goblin archer to battles on adjacent tiles. We just wanted to do that so that we would finally have uh, have that all sorted. Learning. Every creature's attack increases its damage by 1.8 until the end of battle. Friendly fire. 30% chance to attack an ally. Lightning will help a little bit here, but we've also got to deal with the fact that the ghouls can get back up again. And I'm also a target for my own lightning, which is kind of a pain. 20 plus, plus defense. My defense is 4, so I am actually taking a little bit of damage here. It'd be worse for a warrior, but... Because defense isn't a primary stat for me, but still not great. Right, let's have a look. Now, what was my... Damn it, I forgot. Clip that, someone. Tell me what my HP was before I made the mountain. We must know how many... If this is just straight up just two times. Like, it gets one... Double from a single river. Tis needed. While well, that's going on, we will try not to die. But we probably won't. I'm just going to call it now. Got a little bit of help from the outpost, but that's only going to do so much. Smoke screen. Um. Yeah, actually. Well, you smoke screen seems like a, a decent one. Gives a bit, tiny bit of extra survivability. To be fair, that extra bit of uh, help there, that really did, did sort us out. That could have been so much worse. Finally, I think it. Of course, it's immediately going to be, but that's fine. A little bit of extra magic damage is good. I had 815 health before, and creating the mountain... Oh, well, that's true. It would, like, the whole mountain would have represented a certain amount of health, to be fair. But, yeah, the, the mountain is not getting, getting doubled. Yeah, that, that's a bit of a shame. It was worth trying, if, uh, figuring it out, though. Absolutely worth it. Yeah, I'd have told you, but I would have been back seeking. I'm glad you didn't tell me. But now you're just being smug. So you're going to jail anyway. Dunk. Your words are not without consequence. Remember this. It's 
smug jail, which looks deceptively like backseat jail. Only, only there's a sign, and it says smug in really bold, spray painted red lettering across. If you, you really try to make it out, you can sort of see the the word backseat underneath the, the really, really heavily spray painted smug. You just kind of make it out, but you have to squint. Uh, let's see. Have they? Yeah, I would very much like the evasion bonus, please, and thank you. Hmm. That is just straight up better. It's not even a contest there. Right, as for these, let's have a look at you then. Those two should be, well, they, well, because they're magic, they're not necessarily the same. This evasion bonus is quite tempting. Oh, that evasion bonus is even more tempting. Let's go with that one. Finally. Yeah, at a guess, the rivers are still doubling the effect of the individual mountain tiles they are adjacent to that make up the mountain. Yeah, that, that would be my guess, and that would also make more sense, because otherwise that would become brokenly powerful. And as fun as it is to, to kind of think around things like that, and like, ah, oh, I just discovered this thing. Usually you don't want to make the game, like, straight up brokenly powerful, because if you ever make a, this is the best thing to do, then all the all of the work in making other things that people can do is wasted, because no one is ever now going to do them. Yeah, we're just straight going to upgrade our damage. I haven't seen this f far into the game yet. What's the bottom right? These are suburbs. Um, they're known as the town cards. Um, you know, much in the same way that uh, you get mountain cards, and you'll also get like the little hills cards and all the rock cards. And with suburbs, when you surround a suburb orthogonally with other suburbs, it becomes a town. The town increases the EXP you get from killing enemies by two, and the suburbs increases it by one. But they can only be placed next to each other once one is in play. So much like the river, you have to build up one large town, basically. Oh my lord, I've got so many forest tiles, but I've got no bookeries to change them. Another time. Um, no, let's not put it there, because that would be just silly. No, that being said, that would be kind of crazy count lines. It's like, this count has got an amazing estate. Look at all the people he has working in their estate. Oh, glorious, truly. But here we're going to start zigzagging the river to try and give maximal bonuses to my, uh, to my thickets. Another outpost. Might be worth it. Kind of tempted. Um, alternatively, I could place it here. Oh, does that still spawn goblins? That still spawns goblins. I hadn't even noticed that before. Uh, but yeah, we'll have another outpost for there. That'll help out a little bit. What happens with 3x3 three three towns? Um, I don't think there is such a thing as 3x3 three three towns. I can have a look at them. I love those scarecrows, my lord. So, they're almost broken in how useful they are. This part, though, might be deadly for me. We'll see. If lightning is particularly lucky for us, then we might be okay, but we'll see. Getting some uh, blood groves around here would be a good move. Because it prevents them from being able to eat them and heal. I'm starting to wonder if I even have the the 
bookery in my uh, in my deck right now. I'm certain I did. Oh no, please don't Oh no, I've decided to, to focus fire on the the actual quest ghoul. Well that was awful timing. Okay, at least I had some potions to drink, but now it's the other ghoul that I'm attacking. I should go for the vampire. The evades are helping massively, but Oof. I think we've got one more loop of this as well. That smoke helps so much. That helped so much. Nothing is sacred. I am absolutely going to cannibalize my kills if it means I can survive. And I finally got a bookery. Thank goodness. Now, the question is, will this bookery help? Eventually, that's going to turn into a town, and it'll be grand. Until then, we'll, we'll have to just wait and see. Ah, yeah, I've got so many forests, but not uh, any thickets, which I'm stubbornly waiting on. And sadly, the forest did not feed the, the harpies as I had hoped. I'm actually quite, quite sad about that. Oh, thank goodness. Sorted. Right. Now we can actually get some decent uh, quests from them as well. Um... Yeah, it's going to be a while before we can beat our boots for evasion. That's a nine and nine. There's almost no point in me even checking the other boots right now for, for anything. They're that they're that good. This one maybe. Damage to wall is nice. Drop evasion by three. Lose four magic damage, which is most of my magic damage, but get eleven damage to wall. Yes. Uh, right, let's have a look at you. Counter attack eva evasion. Uh, it's not very high, but attack speed bump is really quite appreciated. And two weapons. 25 to 37. Both pretty much in the same same realm. Sure. Let's, let's get those going. There we go. We're now going to do quite a lot more damage. 207% damage bonus if we proc our 10% chance to get a crit. Hi. Please don't be alive anymore. Appreciate it. Uh, nah, I'm not going to worry about the attack speed too much there. Okay, so a goblin over there is now my arc. Very well. I will build my mountains out down here because that's going to give me an amazing um, survivability. Okay, now we've got to fight. What? Just. Did. Wait. I. Really? Did the scarecrow scare off my quest? <laughs> Scoundrel, you! 
Up to bloody scallywag. I disapprove enormously. Uh, I'm going to pop this one there so that they die faster due to the vampirism effect. Yeah, I was wondering why why I lost um, evasion. What what is the effect of the rogue stacking bonus? Is it that for each piece of equipment with the same stat, those stats get buffed? Just so, damn. Oh, is it the rogue boosts his highest stat by even more? If someone could uh, tell me what what effect that was, so that I can uh, better plan uh, how I equip, that would be grand. Evasion bonus of 13. The rogue gets a 10% bonus for each piece of equipment with the same stat. Okay. I shall bear that in mind. Definitely. Uh, no, I'm, fi I'm fine with uh, where those are. So, for example, I swap out this axe... And my evasion should go up more than five. Yep, so it did. Okay. I'll aim to get every piece of equipment I've got with evasion on it then. I mean, realistically, as a, as a rogue, that's probably something I should be aiming for anyway, but... Ten percent bonus for every effect for every piece of equipment that has that set. So if every piece of my equipment had a uh, had a um, bonus to evasion effect, then that would be rather good. Duly noted. Duly. What on earth am I? What was that sound? That was quite an interesting sound, I'm going to be honest. I think it only affects the secondary stats. That that would be how I would would make that work is it would only affect the stats that you don't get by default, because my boots have evasion by default. But it, if it affected any stat, then that would be silly. Because, again, just having two weapons would give you a bonus to, to your damage output just by virtue of having a weapon. And that doesn't seem particularly uh, particularly clever. Um, so what the way I would, would build that is uh, to make it only affect secondary stats if you were going to have it work at all. No, we will keep the evasion bonus, thank you. Crit damage chance, I like. We drop attack speed, though. We're increasing our attack speed at all times, though. So I don't mind it too much. Yeah, we'll continue on. Another goblin camp. Uh, I'll allow that to just be a regular goblin camp for now, I think. 
I could just stop it from being a regular goblin camp by putting down a town right in front of it. Should I ever get another town? Which, at this point, is not entirely certain. Some very interesting sound effects going on right now. <laughs> They're concerning me a little bit, I'm not going to lie. But I could just nuke that, that village as well. It's another option. Because they're difficult fights. Certainly more difficult than the other ones I'm, fight I'm, I'm going through, so... I might not necessarily want to have them. Okay, let's have a look at you. No, I really like that invasion bonus. Thank you. That was glorious. I much approve of the uh, those thickets. Thank you very much, Bucky Duck. Uh, no, lacks of Asian bones. Nice weapon, but it's not a big enough difference, really. One down. Need to kill it quickly. Oh, that was potentially bad. Uh, lowers the quantity of items received on the camp tile by three while increasing the quality of exchange for trophies. This I like. So yes, we'll go with that. I'm also actually quite tempted to pop this here. I know that's going to add fights for me, but at the same time, it will also add mosquitoes to this tile. Which are less of a problem. Hmm. Also, if I could add vampirism there as well, that would be amazing. I think I'll sit on those cards for a, for a moment until I've got something better I can place. I would love to get another village row right now. Like, so much, in fact. sense, Abak, but we also have those four guys with the raise the player abilities and call our bosses punching bags. Gonna probe every possibility, even if it's not like, ah, you make a fair point. I, I shouldn't discount it, just uh, just because it seems like it would be a bit uh, cheesy. Yeah, that is, that is a completely fair point. Completely fair. Okay, let's have a look at what we got. Right, so first and foremost, let's check on the weapons. We've now got some Pretty chunky fair. Yeah, that one was one we already had. These are just straight up murderers. That one that one that one straight up doubles damage of my Qatar. Uh yeah. We're not gonna pass that up, but we're gonna use that. There's no way, no reason not to. That, that particular perk is so, so amazing. Amazing. 38% by itself. There's no reason not to. Evasion is now 67%. It only goes as high as 75, and then it, then it caps out. Um... Don't really care about that one, though. 